so I meant to film this back in September right after the concerts ended but I got too busy slash lazy but I finally moved back and settled into my college apartment so I decided to film this today um, but yeah I'm basically just gonna show all the merch that I was able to buy at the Love Yourself tour in LA and so I'll start first with this red bag it is the tour bag or the red pouch and the reason why I got this is because I saw J-Hope wearing it um, during all the concert dates at the end when they were performing Love Myself and I thought it looked so cute with the tour shirts and jeans um, plus I'm a really big fan of like the combination of red and white together these days um, but yeah it's basically just this rectangular pouch um, and it comes with this white string. I gotta admit though, like, I feel like the white string isn't the most comfortable material, especially if you're carrying heavy stuff in the pouch. But if you just put like your ticket and your phone in it, then it should be fine. Um, but yeah, I like it because I feel like it kind of mimics the style um, of fanny packs or like those crossbody bags which are becoming a lot more popular in streetwear these days so I felt like it's pretty fashion forward and I could wear it outside of the concerts um, just like if I needed a small bag or something I think it would look good with a lot of my outfits because I do own a lot of like red um, pieces and so yeah basically the front part has this transparent pouch and I saw a lot of girls, um, they put like enamel pins in the front. I know that J-Hope decorated his with stickers, which I thought was really cute. Um, so I bought these pins from Mochi Money and Z-O-M-G Bunny. I'll link their shop in my description. But this one is banana milk, which is one of my favorite childhood drinks. Actually, I still drink it. <laughs> and then this one is a serendipity pin, uh, which is one of my favorite performances at the concert. And then this one is the Hicks tape one for J-Hope's mixtape, which I really, really like. So I got those three pins and I'm waiting for more to add to my collection. And then I also put my BT21 keychains to decorate it and, and like other random keychains too. Uh, but yeah, basically that's what it looks like. It, the pouch doesn't really hold that much. It's just like an extra pocket basically. So if you don't really carry stuff, like, then this is good. I, I basically just put my, my ticket and my phone and my charger in here and I was good to go. So the next thing that I got was the love yourself program book and actually I felt like a lot of people didn't really get it because there is a lot in stock by the time that I got it which is at 5 p.m. Um, right before the concert basically but it is so nice it's basically an aesthetic book that has um, all the members profiles on it and they have interviews that are um, it's translated in English and it also has it in Korean as well. So it kind of feels like a, a magazine. Um, what I thought was kind of funny was right here. Okay, you probably can't see it, but underneath the member's photo, it has their height, which is kind of like a normal thing, but it also says their right ankle size, which is super random. First of all, like, I don't think anyone needs to know how big their ankles are slash why the right ankle but anyways I thought that this was such a nice book um, that I have yet to like complete reading and they have like different things that the members have filled out based on like their personal like preferences and like personality based stuff um, it's all in Korean though so yeah <gasps> look at this it's so pretty. I, I really love this concept of flowers and wearing pastels. It's so aesthetic and I think the photos are really precious because they're not all just like photo shoot photos but a lot of them seem very like candid and behind the scenes like you have JK doing his 
typical GCF filmy like photo stuff. And look, Jimin, these are so soft looking. They also have sections where they filled out like their own like it, it feels like a diary entry and it has little doodles that they drew along the theme of loving yourself. Um, I haven't read through them yet and yeah I'm gonna need my mom to help me read them because my Korean sucks but yeah that's basically what the tour book looks like. The last item that or the last official item that I got from the concert <gasps> was the Love Yourself Ivory Tour shirt but let me tell y'all it was not easy trying to get this shirt so basically on Saturday which is um, the date that I didn't have a concert ticket to I lined up early with my friend I woke up at 4am and I got there by 6am but by the time I got there, um, I thought it was going to be really early, but there was already like 200 people in front of me or something like that. And yeah, when the, the merch line opened, um, the shirt as well as the black tour shirt, they sold out within maybe 20 minutes or so. Um, literally when I was only probably 10 minutes away from getting there. So I was so devastated because it, it kept selling out faster and faster every day so I knew there was no chance to get it unless I camped out which is kind of ridiculous but my friend who went to the Oakland show hooked it up for me and got this a shirt so thank you so much Kaylee I really appreciate it but yeah it's basically just an ivory shirt which is um a cream or an off-white type of color it is cotton and I feel like the fabric is quite thick so it is really good quality and then right here they have a pocket and on the pocket is this red like thing stitched onto it that says love yourself in you know their official font and in the back side it just has the BTS logo on it so all in all, this shirt is like very, very simple, but I love it a lot because I saw the boys wear this at the end of the concert for every like concert date that they had. They would switch either between this one or the black one. Um, but yeah, I really like it. It's very minimalistic and subtle. Like it doesn't have BTS plastered all over it because I feel like those shirts are low-key kind of cringy. But this one is really cute and I feel like you can wear it or like every day um, you could pair it with like denim jeans or like a skirt just like anything and it would look good because it's just so simple and versatile and I think yeah I, I'd love to style it like this like how J-Hope did it um, because the red is kind of like matching and stuff but yes I love this shirt so much and if you're planning to go to their future tour dates in either like Europe or in Japan I definitely recommend you line up early the first day because they just keep selling out faster and faster each day okay so the last things that I wanted to show you all are not official tour merchandise but it's things that I got from the concerts so the first one <laughs> it's my so I actually won a raffle ticket to the BTS LG studio. So basically you just go into this tiny little room and you sit on this like little plush sofa and you pick your favorite BTS member. So I picked Jimin and then you wave and then you hear his voice and then he's like a hologram thing like walking on the screen sitting next to you and you guys take a photo together. I know it's, it's low key kind of cringy but I was really happy with it, yeah. But you know what's kind of funny is that I feel like Jimin looks more real than I do. Like I came out so pixelated, but he came out like very crisp and clean. So maybe that was their intention, I don't know. Yeah, and then, um, so each day the fan sites organize these army projects so that we could surprise the boys. Um, so yeah, all of them organized these really cute banners 
This one was from the first date. So yeah, it says Bangtan is the key to my magic shop. And then the second one. Uh oh, it was this one. Yeah. It's so cute. I really love the colors. And then this one was the one for Saturday. So yeah, I decided to bring these home so I could put them on my wall for decoration and stuff. And yeah, they're just so beautifully made. So big thank you to all the fan sites who organized these. So that was basically all the stuff that I got from the tour. I had a really fun time and I miss them so much. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Bye!